Hi my beautiful lovelies, welcome back to my channel. Thank you for joining me for another video today. I hope you are doing well. Today's reading is, where is this connection going? Where are we heading? All right, so we will be looking at the recent past, present and the future, near future of this connection. So please pick a pile. Today we have four groups. This is group number one, group number two, group number three, and group number four. So please focus, relax, and pick a pile. You can find the timestamps below the video, and we can start. Hi group one, welcome to your reading. So let's have a look and find out where is your connection going? Where are you heading? So first we have to shuffle. So spirit, please give us some information for group number one. Look at that, king of cups. <laughs> Someone is in love. Okay, so group number one. Spirit, please give us more information for group number one. Where is this going? Where is this going? Yeah. Where is this connection heading? Sorry. All right. So let's cut the deck. Oh, my hair. All right. Then we can start. So the recent past. Two of cups. Amazing. Eight of Cups. Then we have Six of Pentacles. Present. What's going on right now? Five of Pentacles. Seven of Wands. And Knight of Wands. All right. Okay. And then your future. The Moon. The sun, page of wands. All right. At the bottom of the deck, we have four of swords. So, okay. Okay, so you could be dealing with a fire sign, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. A lot of fire here. Also, some cups, water. So that means uh, Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio, some Earth sign, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. All right, so what I see here is that right now you might be on a break or you might be the whole, uh, the, the energy of, of, of your communication, of your connection is Four of Swords, which speaks about, it could be about, uh, you know, resting and waiting as well, but also about peace and balance. Okay, so in the recent past, I see that this connection is extremely deep. You are soulmates, all right? Or to even twin flames for some of you. And uh, there was some walking away. Someone had to walk away because uh, um, probably you, you were waiting for them to invest more into this connection. Six of Pentacles, all right? That speaks about equal give and take and generosity. Um, so what I feel that in the recent past, um, you stopped communicating or investing that much into your connection and you walked away and you needed a break from this person and also maybe they have walked away, all right? This could be their energy as well. And uh, right at the beginning, if you remember, we had the King of Cups card, okay? So which could talk about, uh, you know, walking away, they are starting to feel that they are falling in love with you. Yeah, and uh, I feel like this person was a player in the past and they have a lot of uh, traits of a player, hot and cold energy. And with you, they see a future. With you, they are happy. They are extremely happy. All right, so uh, you could be dealing with someone who is uh, in, on an, in a location, long distance. And this card speaks about travel, so they would like to visit you, yeah. And uh, right now it's not the best time. 
right now what's going on is that uh, you are feeling left out in the cold and also this person has put their walls up and they are defending themselves because still they have their you know player type of energy in them still they 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 are very passionate about you they see you as someone you know who they want to re really win one day and uh, they are actually feeling alone left out in the cold so there is a lot of waiting energy i feel or resting or just waiting for something to happen okay so in the near future what i see is uh, is the, the the moon which speaks about insecurities but also about hidden stuff and as we saw it at the beginning king of cups they are hiding their feelings for you you make them extremely happy we have the happiest card here from the whole deck the sun so they actually in the near future they will you see how passionate they are about you this could be a quite a new connection or there was not something serious happening between the two of you it's like like the starting phase all right you are getting to know each other and i feel like you are get you will be getting to know each other more and more all right we have the happiest card here so the near future is gonna change all right they are extremely passionate about you they see their light in you that you are their sunshine and uh, you make them extremely happy so there is a, a lot of also insecurities on both sides maybe some you know waiting and uh, for the other one to express their feelings but with this person it's gonna take a little bit longer to express their feelings but you can feel it you can already feel it in your heart that they have emotions for you all right we had the king of cups before as if you remember so there are emotions already involved okay so anything else we should know about this connection yang okay that's one part of yin yang right so definitely number one creation so you are creating a beautiful new cycle with this person all right so we have here another card of message in a bottle they will send you a message they will they want to communicate so they are waking up to this connection beautiful then we have here another card of flexible yes so uh, you will see that uh, they are starting to be more flexible and opening up a little bit slow slowly and uh, it's gonna be quite uh, okay connection quite stable equal give and take as well so for some of you you are definitely long distance right okay unrequited love so with this card i feel like there is this energy of unrequited love that you are not sure what they really think about you how they feel about you right but actually they are in love with you they have a lot of emotions for you healing family issues okay so there is some healing going on sleeping you see healing and past life relationship definitely you are soulmates as i said here two of cups okay so all right one more message for this group on this deck what is the advice opportunity so there is this opportunity coming your way all right so take it if you want them take this opportunity and um, don't be afraid so let me get one more message love message from this deck for you okay we, we have here when you pass from this world you take nothing with you but your soul and the memories you have shared with those you love okay so yes that's a beautiful message right so maybe the the spirit is telling you that you will have to actually for some of you relocate and uh, live where your person is yeah and therefore you have to keep in mind that uh, whatever you have created yeah you will have to leave where it is and you will have to relocate to to where you if you really want your person you have to sacrifice yourself and uh, you will actually relocate to another location 
because uh, the memories are more important than any other material stuff. Okay, good. And the near, all right, the, I want to get a few more messages from this deck. What is waiting for you? What is the outcome? What is the possible outcome? What is the potential? Clear message, please. We have codependency. Okay, addictions are affecting your romantic life. I feel like there is extreme amount of passion, you know, like the devil card. You two are so attracted. This is very, very deep connection. Very deep. Okay, then we have finances and career. As I said, there might be some obstacles with finances. As I said, chemistry, enormous amount of chemistry. So at the bottom of the deck, we have a beautiful card of true love, which speaks about this is the romance of a lifetime. So for many of you, this person actually sees you as someone very, very special. All right. So there is this potential of true love. Okay, my dear. So that's all I have for you right now. I hope it was helpful. Thank you very much for watching and I will see you next time. Bye. Hi group 2, welcome to your reading. So let's have a look and find out where is this connection going? Where are you heading with this person? So, oh wow. <laughs> Don't fly away. Okay, Spirit, please give us more information for group number 2. Group number 2, where is this connection going? Where is this connection going? All right, so let's cut it. Okay. Okay. Spirit, please give us more information for group number two. Oh, wow, look at that. I think. Yes, the tower. The first class card is the tower, seven of pentacles, ten of cups. This is the recent past. What is the present? What's going on right now in your connection, spirit? So we have ten of pentacles. Wow, amazing. Look at that. Okay, we got even more cards here, but I take all of them. Good, so... That's the present moment. What is the near future? Six of Cups. What is the near future? The Hanged Man. Three of Pentacles. At the bottom of the deck we have a card of the Moon. Okay, so let me see. So in the recent past, there was some type of a tower moment, all right? And because of a lot of waiting, I see a lot of waiting energy, waiting, waiting, and working on your connection, investing a lot and waiting for the, you know, the fruits of your labor, all right, to come into fruition. So because of the timing, there was this tower moment and there is a huge potential for actually stable, committed life with this person. You both want 10 of cups. You both feel fulfilled together. Okay, that was the recent past. Right now, look at that. We have again 10 of pentacles. You see this person as someone who you want to share your life with, all your life with. And also what I feel, uh, you could be dealing with a Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, uh, Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio, uh, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, strong Scorpio. All right, so yes, um, and some Gemini energy as well. 
So I feel like uh, this person wants a new beginning with you. They are planning it. They, you are actually right now thinking about new beginning with them. Look what we have underneath the sun card. So <laughs> beautiful card of uh, happiness. Yeah. But let me see what these three cards mean, because I see like someone who is very uh, focused on their goals. That could be your energy that you really want to achieve this family with them. And then we have the death card and the three of cups card, which could speak about huge, huge transformation change, big change. So you could be actually changing from friends to uh, something more than friends. Right. Or this could also mean that. Uh, um, there will be some type of a celebration. There will be a huge, huge change which will be celebrated. This could also speak about, uh, yeah, some big change between the two of you. Proposal or getting pregnant or something really happy going on here. And then we have the near future, six of cups, two kids here. The hanged man, still some waiting, yeah, in the near future. And then also we have three of pentacles which speaks about working on this connection collaboration together you really want this to happen all this happiness is waiting for you all right so let me get uh, some more cards of the overall energy okay we have six of swords so you might be traveling okay to see this person in the near future it could be long distance for some of you eight of pentacles you both really want to work on this connection amazing that's even nicer than three of pentacles you are both hard working and you know what you want and once you know what you want you are going for it no matter what look at that you could really be dealing with a king of pentacles someone who is very established someone who knows what they want they want actually you know they're very serious about this oh my gosh look at that they really want uh, union celebration so this is what is coming all right for both of you at the bottom of the deck we have justice which, which could speak about contract or something some legal matters going on and uh, beautiful changes are ahead okay what are the messages for group number two by the book oh my goodness number 11 you could be twin flames 11 11 but look at these elephants it's about family as well, all right? This person is very traditional. They like family. They like, uh, you know, one, one wife and kids. Oh my God, look at that. A big change is coming. A change in the wind. Huge change. This is amazing. From 11 to number 12. Change in the wind. Big changes are hit. And I feel big happy changes are coming. You will create something really beautiful together with this person. What is the message from spirit? What is the, the advice for group number two? Okay, we've got here, there is something better. Yes, there is something better and you are ready. So I feel like spirit wants to tell you that right now where you are, um, something better is coming, yeah? As I said, big happy changes. Romance, definitely look at that. We have a beautiful card of romance here. Then we have five other cards, which I'm not taking. That's a lot of cards. So, yeah, definitely beautiful changes ahead. Yeah, a lot of abundance is coming. So, congratulations. So, let me see and let's get a few messages. A few more messages from this deck. What is the, the outcome or, yeah, soulmate. That's your soulmate or twin flame, as I said, and flirt. They're very passionate about you, okay? There is a lot of passion. Give your relationship a chance. So if there is a lot of uh, waiting energy, waiting, yes, yeah, stagnant energy, then give, give it a chance and uh, be patient. You should let go of control issues and separation, yes. I feel like you two are separated because there is a lot of waiting energy and this travel I see here as well. Love yourself first. Give it. Give this time to yourself. Work on yourself. Be ready for this beautiful love and be ready for them. 
new love, okay? So a new person has stirred your romantic feelings. So this is your new love, new cycle. All right, so let me get one more message from this deck. Oh, beautiful. Deep in your heart, you already know the answer. Do what feels right. <laughs> Look at that. Twin flames. Your passion ignites. All right, so um, that's all I have for you right now. I hope it was helpful. And... Um, yeah, we'll see you next time. Thank you very much for watching. Bye. Hi, group three. Welcome to your reading. So let's have a look and find out a little bit more about your connection. Uh, we will be looking at your recent past, present and the near future and potential outcome as well. So let's see. Okay, spirit, please give us some new information for group number three. All right. So give us some more information for group number three, please. Group number three. recent past mm, the emperor that's the recent past okay that's a lot of cards i only take one or two the emperor five of cups and oh wow there are two all right okay i take them spirit that's the recent past what is going on right now Mm-hmm. And the outcome. Oh, near the near future. Ten of Pentacles. Wow. The judgment and page of wands. Alright. The bottom of the deck we have uh, the moon. So Okay, in the recent past, I see someone was trying to control the situation, all right? The, your person was trying to control the situation. It brought a lot of uh, sadness, grief. They didn't see this beautiful connection, Two of Cups. They were focusing on the past events. And also, they were watching you, right? They were getting more information about you. They were quite obsessed. and uh, But they uh, decided to rest from this connection you might not be speaking with this person right now you're waiting for their message and in the near future i see you actually being a little bit frustrated and not not happy yeah um, thinking thinking and thinking about them but look at that the clarity of mind is coming you will realize what what was going on and uh, i see a, a lot of daydreaming as well so you are waiting for this truth to be told. Yeah, there are a lot of insecurities, a lot of uh, you are not sure whether this person has someone else or if, if they are not interested in you or what's going on, right? And uh, a lot of insecurities. But what I see here, look at that, the near future, Ten of Pentacles, Judgment, Page of Wands. I see a beautiful reconciliation. I see someone who is willing to work on this Ten of Pentacles, right, with you. And also, they are very, very passionate about you. They are a little bit immature. Maybe that's why they are <laughs> acting this way, even though in, they are the emperor. They might be older than you. A uh, very well-respected person in the society. And also, uh, people respect him. And uh, 
they are giving you know orders and uh, preparing the rules and giving guidelines and so on but with you they are acting immature they don't know how to deal with love with emotions they have to learn this that's why this caused uh, it was uh, there was this uh, unhappiness and uh, i feel like uh, it's going to improve look at that the energy is, is improving it's shifting with this person so anything else we should know about the outcome okay we have the high priestess you are a very spiritual person as well and they see you as someone very very special as their wish come true so they're going for it and the, yeah leo so you could be dealing with a leo yeah <laughs> aries leo sagittarius gemini libra aquarius a lot of air uh aries as i said and also taurus virgo capricorn yeah strong and we have here at the bottom of the deck waiting energy seven of pentacles investing into this connection and waiting yeah so anything we should know what is the message what is the advice from spirit for this connection Trust. Trust the process. Trust the angels. They are working on something. Right now is not the best time. That's why you need this time on your own. Not the right time. All right, so we have here new life. Look what is waiting for you. New life. <laughs> Amazing. Okay, we have regeneration. Definitely reconciliation. Just be patient. Okay, and why? Yeah, you might be confused and thinking about why. Why Why is this happening to me? Why is this not happening to me, right? But Spirit is telling you, don't worry. Trust us. Trust the process. Work on yourself and leave this up to us. Forgiving and learning. This is a lesson to start forgiving and learning. How Learn how to forgive others it's a lesson for you in honeymoon this person might travel towards you as well so there will be some trip we have here retreat definitely separation for many of you there is right now yeah but they are coming back and religious factors so as i said this is a spiritual connection you are a very spiritual person okay one last message from this deck for group number three Oh, we have two messages. You may not always understand why certain things happen. However, there is always a higher purpose to the events in your life. Through turmoil, a blessing will soon be revealed. Okay, beautiful. Healing. Imagine yourself and your beloved surrounded by light. Feel your relationship being healed this very moment. Oh my goodness, I love this message. I'm actually doing this every time I go to bed and I feel much better. So try to do this exercise and it's going to heal your heart as well. So not only your connection, right? So you will feel much better next morning. Good. So that's all I have for you right now. So I hope it was helpful and uh, thank you very much for watching and I will see you next time. Bye. Hi, group four. Welcome to your reading. So let's have a look and find out where is this connection heading? Where are you going? What's going on? All right. So what is the potential? Let's see. Group number four. Spirit, please give us some more information for group number four. No, no, no. 
down. So what is the recent past? Two of Wands. Book number four. Wow, the sun. Nine of Pentacles. Page of Pentacles. Queen of Swords. Five of Wands. So definitely you... The recent past, it seems like there was a lot of happiness. Yeah? A lot of happiness. You were actually in your power, being single, planning, organizing, and uh, probably this person was just waiting for you and uh, looking into your future, having nice visions, um, spending nice time together. This is the recent past. Right now, what's going on is that you know what you want. You are not afraid to cut off people who don't serve you, yeah? And this person is actually uh, younger in their spirit even though you might be the same age, yeah? Their energy is a little bit more childish or playful. And uh, you are more mature. You are very intelligent, very smart. And this is causing a little bit of conflict and chaos in your connection. All right, what is the near future? Okay, there was one more card here, which I saw. Where is it? Hiding somewhere. Okay, so I don't know. We have the death card here. What else? Wow. Ace of Pentacles. One more, please. Ah, look at that. Here it is. Queen of Wands. <gasps> Amazing. The star at the bottom of the deck. So, this connection will go through a huge transformation, huge change for better. They will offer you a stable, committed relationship. They see you as someone very, very beautiful, special and uh, amazing, stunning, like the star. Look at that. They are daydreaming about you. They, you are their wish come true. They see you as being very successful, independent, beautiful, sexy, very sexy, stunning, even gorgeous. And they are just overwhelmed. They are so happy. I mean, for group number four, why are you here? There is only a little bit of confusion going on and some conflict, but look at all the overall energy. It's beautiful. So congratulations. Be assertive. Yes. Queen of Swords, you could be Gemini, dealing with a Leo, dealing with Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. All right. Scorpio as well. So I feel like you are being very assertive and this person sees it. Yeah, And they a little bit feel like, you know, that... They are this masculine type there. They should be the one who should be assertive, but they are not. They are a little bit more immature. But this is also the card of a new beginning. Like this person is, is someone new in your life and uh, they are ready. They see you as their star, as their wish came true. So be assertive. Know what you want. There is a beautiful change coming your way. I love this opportunity. So take action, take this opportunity and uh, I don't see any problems here. No problem. <laughs> Look, we have by the book. So this is a traditional setup. Yeah, this connection will be very traditional. You might even want family together later on exchanging gifts. This person will, might give you a gift soon, probably on a Valentine's Day or some, some gift. You will receive a gift. Beautiful. They are very generous. Unfinished symphony. So maybe you are going through some cycles with this person. And until now, there were more lessons for both of you. But peace is coming. Peace is coming. Yeah. Uh, the, yes. You were going through some circles with this person, but only because they needed to learn some lessons, some life lessons, reconciliation. So if you are separated, there was this ending here, yeah, or it's coming for some only temporary, yeah, because of this small conflict, they are coming back and they will offer you beautiful commitment. I mean, beautiful relationship. 
codependency they are dependent on you they feel an enormous amount of attraction you are getting to know each other oh my god wedding <laughs> oh. calling in your soulmate this is your soulmate past life relationship amazing there will be a wedding wow please send me a photo of your wedding okay so one last message When it comes to matters of the heart, there is no right or wrong. Every choice you make expands your understanding of life and love. Secret admirer. Someone has deeper feelings for you than they are letting on. Maybe they were acting, as I said, you know, not expressing their feelings. That was the problem. And you actually made them extremely happy. They see you as a very sexy, very beautiful person. Very uh, successful as well. So they are your secret admirer. So wh why are they <laughs> playing with you this way? Yeah. So this will cause some temporary break. But they will come back and offer you even proposal. Okay. That might happen on Valentine's. Doesn't have to for all of you. But for some of you, yes. Okay. So that's beautiful. So thank you very much for watching. This is all I have for you right now. I hope it was helpful. And I will see you next time. Bye.